Yo, what's good, everybody? Show us Louisiana Gator here. And I'm George Screen. And we are coming to react to. Can you still see my side? Alright, so we're coming to react to Donut Operator. This video was actually uploaded three weeks ago. Neighborhood Watch Mag Dumps Bad Guy. Alright, let's get into this. Let's make sure we, uh, at the full resolution. Okay, so. 1080p. Right. Resolution. Shots fired, shots fired. Hi everyone, Donut here. Oh my god, it's Jeeves. <laughs> hey buddy, look, dad's making money so you can have those stupid expensive phones, all right? Police YouTuber beats black men on video. Where was I? Oh yeah, I do police content on this channel. Let's do that. As far as I know, there have been two pieces of body camera footage ever where a civilian has a firearm and helps an officer in a gunfight. See how I did that little trick where I didn't say gun in the first couple seconds? You algorithm. One of those two pieces of body camera footage was just released this month. In the footage that we're going to review today, two police officers get shot in the head and then some crazy ass person who just happened to be there, some civilian runs over and <laughs> lays down some hate downrange for the police officers. This is a nutty situation. You know what else is nutty? People who steal your identity. You ever try to Google yourself and then your <laughs> pops up? Wait, I mean, not that. You ever try to Google yourself and your personal information pops up? <laughs> Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I love this. I love this channel. I really do. It's shit like this that just makes his videos even better. Give it a try. My god, I googled Brandon Herrera and I can see that he hasn't completed the AK-50. Super serial though, what these guys do is they take your personal information, Googleable information, and they sell it to spammers and bot callers and all these other people who you don't want to talk to. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura can identify these people who are getting your information and submit opt-out letters to them. And legally, they have to remove all your information. You can get a two week free trial right now by going to Aura.com slash donut. That's not the only thing they can do to protect you and your family though. Aura offers so many neat features all in one place. They offer things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more all for one affordable price. One of the other things that I love about Aura is their parental controls. I can keep my son from looking at big giant anime. T at least give it a try for two weeks. See what Aura can oh do for you. Oh my god, don't like bro, it, what? It, They won't charge you anything. Like I said, get all of these amazing features in one single... I, honestly, I didn't even know he had a fucking kid, to be honest. I didn't realize he had a child. Place at aura.com slash donut. Let's do some shootings. This is some of the craziest shit that I've ever seen on the internet, and I've been unsupervised on the internet since 1998. The good old days of downloading boobies off of LimeWire, and then your parents finding the pictures of- Oh my god, I remember that shit. I used LimeWire to download music. Dude, the much. amount of fucking porn you can find on LimeWire, like, oh my god. Of said I boobies, and you say, no, a virus downloaded those boobies. I never could have done that. It was me. I downloaded all them boobies. Oh, God, now my mom knows. At the first of this video, you heard me say there was only two that I could find where civilian takes up a gun and helps a police officer. One of those I did a couple of weeks ago. You might remember that one. It got, I think, almost 5 million views. Thank you, by the way. And it was called Cop Gives Bystander a Gun in Crazy Shootout. TLDR, a cop had gotten into a gunfight on the side of the interstate. A retired deputy runs up to help. The cop gives the retired deputy his backup gun and they have a two-on-one gunfight in favor of the law get on the ground now hey. <laughs> The bad guy in that situation literally loses his mind quite like the bad guy in the last video that i did in charleston Whatcom county the very top left of our great nation that borders america's gun-hating vagina hat canada February 10th, 2022. That's right, this happened over a year ago. But this being a tricky situation and legal proceedings, a bunch of bureaucratic gobbledygook, the body camera footage was just released. 911 received a call about a drunk man shooting a shotgun at a neighbor's house. Well, that's one gnarly call to respond to, ladies and gentlemen. Deputies Jay Thompson and Ryan Rathburn, who are best friends and partners, show up to the scene first. Both officers have many, many years of law enforcement experience. They show up and seeing as how this is a very hairy situation, they don't immediately go knock on the dude's door. That's a really good way to get shot through the door or shot from a window in case there really is a guy inside who's housed and playing with a shotgun. It's not best to take the frontal approach on that one. They post up behind cover where they can yell at the dude just to ask him what's going on and this is how he responds. Talk to him, is he? No, no one's talked to him yet. Okay, so that's it's probably a two-officer contact if you talk to him. 
Why don't you give us the air again? The the fending party is coming and going from the door yelling. I don't want to order them out till we get another person. Hey, sir. As you can see, one deputy has his AR out, looks like a Daniel Defense, and the other deputy behind the tree has his service pistol out. The deputies are like, hey, this guy really doesn't want to cooperate with us, so let's wait on a couple of more officers to get here. They can't exactly walk away from the scene now, and then, you know, some innocent neighbor gets blasted by a dude who's drunk with a shotgun. Hey, you want to shoot? No, it's the sheriff's office. Why don't you come out with your hands empty and talk to us? Yes, my beard. <laughs> All right, that was kind of funny. <laughs> a couple of minutes go by and both deputies take cover behind. Suck my dick? No. Lick my balls? No. Kiss my dick? Yes. Behind the neighbor's garage. That's when our suspect says. Sheriff's office, why don't you come out and talk to me with your hands empty? That's a credible threat towards law enforcement, which means they have probable cause or PC to make an arrest. They'll talk about that in a second, but again, they can't just go barreling down there because dude might have a shotgun. And turns out that was a good idea not to barrel down there. Tell these people to put the goddamn smoke down, take a ride on the wild side, hit it. Oh, he's fucking ah. lit. Drop the gun! Yep. Sheriff's office, drop the gun! Uh, oh! Uh, shots fired, shots fired. <laughs> oh! Send it! Shots fired! Well, that happened quick as hell. Before I show any more of the video for YouTube purposes, I gotta blur some of this. Head wounds bleed a lot. There's a lot of blood. YouTube doesn't like blood. Unless it's drinking the adrenochrome of babies. Anyways, if you want to see the completely unedited footage, you can go over to my raw police footage channel called Donuts Raw Police Footage. That'll be in the comments and the description below. The deputy with the pistol gets shot in the face and retreats to the garage, so his partner with the rifle steps up and starts popping off at the suspect. While under fire, the suspect gets another shot off and shoots that deputy in the face. Well, how the hell are they still up and fighting after they got shot in the face, you might ask? Well, that's because this <coughs> Cole was using birdshot. If you're unfamiliar with different shotgun loads, this is a slug, basically a big bullet. This is buckshot, basically a couple of marble-sized ball bearings. And this is birdshot, a bunch of BBs that move really fast. As you can see in the aftermath of the deputy who was shot first, Deputy Thompson, it's not something that would be very fun to be hit in the face with. The two well, deputies do as much as they not. can to stay in the fight though and try to hold a good well, angle so the guy I can't rush them. Some the awesome person. ass neighbor who was there with the deputies, I guess. Okay, well, uh, it, we should go ahead and point out here that distance makes everything, especially when it comes to something like birdshot. If it had been a lot closer, it'd probably be much, much worse, but because of the distance, spread pattern opens up and he only got peppered with like, what, 10? Well, I don't even know if it's that. And about probably. four to five uh little well little BBs or little balls. He was behind him, runs up and unloads on the suspect with what looks like a 1911. I'm guessing because it was eight shots. I'm hit. Seven for walking. <laughs> Give me the air. Shots fired. We have two officers hit in the head. I don't have a whole lot. Don't shut yeah. Yeah, I need A, but we need replacements. Yes. yes! In the head! We're both hit. In the head! Full oh, officer! Officer. In the head! Okay, so oh, I'm okay. thinking that guy right there in the khakis, I think that's the uh, neighborhood watch guy. Yeah, but I'm losing vision in my left eye. I don't think okay. it's going to be worse from the, the the injuries. Well, the guy, okay, so one of the officers already said that he's losing vision in one of his eyes. Well, oh, that's Let's bad. Around but... and back. We gotta go back. Yeah, to my rig. My rig. My rig's down there. Yes, no, my car's right here. I can drive. Yeah, but we gotta get into the okay. car. The deputies make their way back to the road so they can try and get into one of their patrol vehicles and head to the hospital. They rotate out with more deputies while the neighbors with guns show up to help provide cover. Get in, Bone, get in. Back seat, get in. Yeah. Oh, it's No more shots were fired, and the suspect eventually surrendered to police. Walk it on your face! Get on your face! Get on your face! Get on your face! I have.
have a feeling that he's going to prison for a long time. Uh, attempted murder? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, hands out! Yeah. You guys are really making a big scene out of nothing. Keep your taser on him. Yeah. Big scene out of nothing, motherfucker. You shot two officers in the fucking face. Oh my. And not is only it, that. Is he that fucking retarded? That sounds like something Roy would do. I'm just saying. No shit, if, huh? If he knew how to control or operate a gun, I'm going to. Show me. I'm coming up to the cup. Holy shit, all you guys are here for me? <laughs> I mean, Can I have some shoes? This is real. Let's go. What's wow, your this name? Is really What's your cool. name? You yep. can shoot me if you want. Yeah, he's kind of a fucking idiot and just kept laughing about it and didn't think it was much of a big, a big deal. They shot two cops in the face. They had a gunfight with police. So dumb fuck was eventually charged with two counts of first degree attempted murder, first degree assault while armed with a firearm, second degree assault while armed with a firearm, felony harassment, and six counts of reckless endangerment. He was held on a $5 million bond. And to top it all off, if he wasn't... Holy shit, $5 million. Well, I wonder how many... Uh... How long of a Should sentence Should I have another five million for trying to make light of this situation, but that's just me. Already spending the rest of his life in prison, the two deputies are suing him in civil court for everything he has. We're not just here to put on um, a badge and, and, and go to work and be, you know, your, 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 the backstop for your gunfire. We're not here Did to be your victim. I wonder if that, that, that must have been the officer that uh, sort of losing vision is, I wonder if... Did his eye get swollen like that? Hmm. I hope it's just swelling. I hope he didn't have to have the eye removed. Because if you had to have the eye removed, that, that creates a lot of problems for him because then he wouldn't be able to do his job. Hmm. That is correct. Because if you think about it, like, say if, like, an officer's arm gets shot, they're, like, they're not dominant shooting hand, then they have to switch, which means they also have to switch eyes. And if he had to have an eye removed, well, he can't do that. We're not going to continue to be, and we're going to hold you accountable. <laughs> Get f ah. nerd. Good news is, though, both deputies returned to the line of duty 350 days after they got shot. Deputy okay. Rathburn had to have six surgeries and nearly lost his left eye, but regained partial vision. Deputy Thomas suffered a traumatic brain injury and is undergoing therapy for PTSD. What do you well, I guess fucking so. But I was close. When I said that he uh, probably had to have his eye removed, well, he didn't, but it was close. So, I well, mean, it just goes to show you right there how dangerous that job is. Hey, damn, out of work for nearly a year. Well, I guess so. I mean, you got fucking peppered in the face with bird shot. Yeah. And then the other guy, like, he suffered PTSD from that shit. So... And that's a lot of therapy within itself that has to be done. What do you think about this situation? How do you think the deputies handled this situation? Could anything have been done better? Do you think they handled it to the best of their ability after being shot in the face by some <laughs> head? Let me know in the comments below if you want to help. Well, I think personally, I think they did a damn good job. Like, they tried de escalate, and the guy escalated, he started shooting. So the only thing they could do was really return fire. It's unfortunate that what happened to him happened to him. But I do wish them, like, a speedy recovery and, uh, hopefully the one guy can regain full vision after a certain amount of time, so. But, oh. honestly, in my opinion, I think, uh, he should, the guy that was, uh, ultimately arrested, I think he should have gotten longer instead of what he got. I don't know what he got, but I um, mean... I, if I had to say, uh, probably... If, good few years in prison if not life because i think uh donut did say he would end up spending the rest of his life in jail or prison so he might have got life I, I don't really know it wasn't really said i heard life doesn't necessarily mean i uh i mean i've seen people say oh i spent life in prison yeah 50 years that's pretty much a good chunk yeah. of your life well, when they say life, they mean, what they mean by life is, like, you're never getting out, right? Like, so, say if you go, well, unless you get shanked in prison, then I guess that kind of is life. But, um, what they mean by life is, like, 
you're not getting out. Like you're you're there for the rest of your life to, till the day you take your last breath, right? Um, but oftentimes you'll see like in the cases of life without parole or life with the possibility of parole or without the possibility of parole, but most of the time, depending on how severe it is, you would most likely get life without parole. Hey, I gotta show you. Speaking of life, I have to do this, of course. Which, <laughs> which brings me to my, my point that I want to make is, you've seen how crazy this guy was acting, right? Like, even after that, he's like, you guys, you're making a bigger deal than what it is. Like, he's completely off his rocker. How the fuck he got a shotgun, I don't know. But what I can tell you is they need to really seriously add a mental evaluation in the process of uh, the background check. You need to like have them be evaluated through and through um, while owning a firearm because he, all it takes is that one slip up and it's like, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and take your gun. So, but it is what it is. Um, Hopefully this piece of shit never gets out because not only is he a danger to himself, from what it seems, he's also a danger to society. Got anything to say on that? Did he probably will. Hmm? Spend the rest of his life with the wizard. Yep. I just think it's, uh... I, I think uh, the mental health uh, system in America is just fucked. Or at least, you know, I can't say America because America is a continent rather than a country. So the United States, like, the mental health evaluation system that we have and how how hard it is to actually receive mental health treatments, it, it, that needs to change, honestly. Because unless you're able to pay for it or you have like some sort of medical insurance like Medicaid that would actually pay for it most people are out of luck so but um yeah those officers got lucky because like uh like you seen from the video what uh slugs can do if you would have been loaded up with slugs there's no doubt in my mind both those guys getting hit in the face with with slugs like yeah it would have been a lot fucking worse so but, uh, you got anything to say? Mm, that's about it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be alerted when we upload new videos. I'm your host, Louisiana Gator. And I'm George Sweet. And we are signing out.